See, there's a reason. There's a reason why I put that up there because it's Thanksgiving. Look, happy Thanksgiving to everyone in America. I am thankful for all of the community hitting 50,000. I'm thankful that my son came out of uh, hospital today. Uh, I've got a lot to be thankful for. But uh, I understand this is really big in America. We don't really do well. We haven't even got any notion of Thanksgiving over here in the UK. Uh, but I know a lot of my US uh, viewers are watching this. Unless you've all got your family around for dinner, a nice big turkey. Uh, so I thought, if you're watching on demand, happy Thanksgiving. Um, what do you think of that music, huh? I was well happy to be able to get some of these files. Um, they've got a creative use license, so I've paid for the license, and I've got like 15 tracks. Uh, from the 80s so i'm probably going to share them with you tonight we'll play a little game and uh see if you can guess what they are got to figure out how to set it up no idea at all uh, i do know how to do this though let's give it up big time hello christian from grantham now let's get cracking now tonight christian i'll make sure that i turn it back off again <laughs> because yesterday in case uh, peeps didn't know for the patrons i was building a mechanical wasp um, and it took longer than I thought, uh, and it was a lot more fiddly than I thought as well. So what we're going to do next week, uh, patrons, is we're going to finish it off. But I'm going to show you uh, where we got to. So for all the, all the folks that aren't on Patreon, this is the head that we created. Everything you see is metal. So we created the metal. It looks very steampunky, but that's the head. We created the body, which is, uh, again, very steampunky, looking like this. Very small. Then we created the stinger, which looks like this. And the thing that we ended, we just didn't have time to do, is do all the legs and plug them in. So that looks like that. <laughs> it took forever. But really happy with how it looks. I haven't got a clue how that part goes. So we've got the wings to do, we've got the stand to do, and we've got the connections which connect all of this together. So that's what we do um, next Wednesday. So larger than it looked, really? I mean, this is this is quite a big little wasp, I have to say. It's from a company called uh, Motu. Motu. Oh, I can't even remember. I, you know, when I do the video, it will be up on the up on the site. But we had a, a great great time doing that. Uh, I thought you meant the wasp synthesizer. No, uh, but it's all synthesized eighties music. That is. I'll give you. Um, let's let's set something up, and uh, I've got I've got to figure out how to do this. So stand by. Um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Go to studio mode. <laughs> One second. I should have had this ready. Uh, so I'm going to just say media source free and I'll just keep changing this. So if we put this one in here. Just looking at how that is. Uh, and then I have this going all the way down here. I think that's right. Right. Hopefully you should be able to hear this. But this is the sort of music that you're going to get. Uh, you have to let me know if you can hear anything. Um, at the moment you can't oh yeah because I haven't transitioned right you ready tell me if you know what this is from this is dead easy Gary Whitfield, I'll turn that off again now. I think I've turned it off. Now I'm going to transition again. There we go. So I know how this works now. So I know how to turn things on and off. Crazy Frog. He's not bloody Crazy Frog. <laughs> they're wicked though, aren't they? I, I, I just think they're brilliant. I think they're going to be great for the stream. Um, I'll play another one for you in a minute because <laughs> I'm just so happy. But I can't believe people got that straight away. I can't actually hear them. Because uh, through the thing, even put it on monitor, I can't hear them. So I've got to rely on the little sound bar going up and down to figure out that you can actually hear it. Uh, so we'll have to see. Um, okay, so first off tonight, we do have a merch on the map, which is cool. And I'm in Corby. And if I go due north from Corby and just keep going north, 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 we come to Scumthorpe. Uh, now, uh, Scott, you've been on this channel for quite a while. But Logan from Scumthorpe. Is this the first kid we've had on the channel? I'm not sure. But he's wearing a Let's Get Kraken shirt. So thank you for that. You are now on the map. So uh, check out the uh, World of Wayne store. It's called um, bits.ly forward slash Wayne store. I'll put that in chat because I've updated all of the merch in there. 
everything's been updated as a matter of fact if you're watching on the phone perhaps on your pc as well you might see the merch store underneath everything's been updated now so uh, that is the merch store at the moment um i do need your help tonight as well i'm just going to move my wasp away so i don't crush it because uh it took forever to do that <laughs> was a fun build though i have to say we do some random things on this channel don't we um pete j cooper you're 10 seconds behind chris oh i'm sorry uh pete j cooper um you you posed a question to me in facebook which did make me think uh and i need your advice as a matter of fact i need everyone's advice now on the orca build today i've got the orca here again um i'm gonna switch cameras because that's a bit washed out stand by let's go for overhead cam okay so we've got the portholes in the side now i'm going to be drilling these portholes out you can see i've already started just to see that it's hollow underneath and i get to put the brass fittings in here one and two got to drill them out how on earth am i supposed to drill that out there when you've got this wall in its way and i really don't want to take that wall out look you see now all i'm thinking is i actually put two brass portholes in here and then paint that one here because i can't think of a way that i'm going to be able to get that hollow to get um a porthole in there has anyone got any advice for that it's the same on the other side as well but i don't know i don't know what i'm going to do yet i haven't honestly got the faintest clue and when phil was here can you believe it's been a week since uh Spruverse was in here and uh, he's, he's back in la now it's just i can't believe my concept of time is all over the place but um he he did mention that to me and i think i must have glossed over it and now i'm looking at it i'm like mm, don't know what we're going to do about that it's uh pretty crazy thank you scott no problems at all happy to feature him <laughs> oh carefully yeah i don't I, I haven't got a clue puncture it well i can't get at all in there because you've only got a gap of about two centimeters at most uh i don't know you know what i need drill for the side and repair it after yeah that's probably one option no, i think that's probably the only option portland the only other thing is um a dentist drill you know the dentist drills are at 90 degrees can you get a drill like that that's miniature that i can that would cut a hole easily a soldering iron does does resin melt under that much heat that's, that's a good idea I, i've got no idea uh pete uh paint the last one to, to much work to open that up yeah no definitely it's uh it's going to be a struggle but drilled and filled seems to a right angled screwdriver and patience <laughs> And there's a right grind it with a dremel yeah but i can't get a dremel in there spenny unless uh as um neil collins said that there's a right angle attachment that i can put on it I, I don't know i don't know and a hot wire i don't know i might have to i've got some spare bits of resin so i might have to try the heat option that could be an option you've got a few spare <laughs> what dentist drills <laughs> yeah i forgot that chris you know what i completely forgot the fang docks in here yeah you know what i mean though chris you know because you have the right angle drills don't you that would be perfect can't you just get those on the uh on the you know on the on the on the cheap for the the public i haven't got a clue <laughs> but it's been bugging me all day it's been bugging me all day and i would like to put you know to match them all up and the funny thing is i've ordered these lovely brass you saw these lovely brass portholes but they're going to be painted over they've painted over all the portholes in jaws so um quinn didn't really take quinn didn't really take care of his uh his ship he just painted over everything. Even the life boys have been painted over, if you look. So <laughs> the whole thing's like grey. It's just raggedy, which is good. I mean, I'm doing the cleanup for it now. But in all honesty, it doesn't really matter what I do to this. The raggedy and rough it looks, the better. Uh, I will be putting a, a, a spray paint or airbrush coat of primer on. But I'm not going to paint it with primer. I'm going to use a brush to paint it because that's how it was painted. And I don't want smooth paint on it. So uh, I've, got, I've got some really fine horsehair brushes. As a matter of fact, um, was it... Uh, uh, who sent me those? Is that you, John? John Hay? I've got those. Like, those brushes are really nice as well. So I'm going to try and get some nice uh, hand painting on those ones, I think. But I'll airbrush the primer so we can actually get a smooth coat on that. They are high-speed diamond purrs, but need compressed air at 40 pounds. I've got... I can get that. 40 pounds per second to get the full... Four. I don't think I'm going to need 400,000 revs per minute, those, Chris. <laughs> my um, my uh, CRC there, that only runs on 12,000 revs per minute, and that thing makes a right racket. But uh, there's no hole, Jennifer, as you can see. Look, you can't even see it on the outside. I didn't even know 
that that porthole was there you can't see it here but uh i mean it is an option to go through the wall i suppose uh i think that's the only option and then fill it we'll have to see cut along the roof scene take out the porthole and replace the roof there's no seam on the roof this is um this is one whole body i don't know if you know that now the way this must have been molded is that the resin must have been put in there and do you know how they make easter eggs that they revolve it round and the chocolate sticks to the outside that's the only way this could have been done because there's no seam lines whatsoever in this and this i know is hollow so that's the only way i think that could have been molded um but there you go painted roads don't rot no they don't but they uh the paint flakes off and when salt gets to them they just go all over the place but yeah uh quint really didn't take care of the boat we noticed that when we saw the shark is broken uh berg this that um the ship was a white old mess <laughs> um yeah ken i need to do that obviously it's um it's thanksgiving in america so uh he might find this on demand but um i think he he did pose that question to me ken and I didn't have an answer, so I thought I'd put it out to you. I mean, I'm nowhere near that stage anyway at the moment. As I said, if you saw today's video, I'm going to be working on the internal cabin first and then seeing how we're getting on with that. Um, if you like one, you say, really, Chris, would you do that? Wow, that'd be amazing. Um, I'll, I'll email you. I'll get, through, I'll get in touch with you through Patreon, Chris. That'd be pretty amazing. If you're retired, why do you still keep the drills? I've got to ask. <laughs> Or is it like, you, you know, you do it on the side. Someone comes to you and says, oh, you know, Chris, you know, well, well before we go to the pub, can you uh, just fill my two for me? <laughs> do, do you get that as a dent? I'm, I'm captive. I'm, 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 I'm intrigued. Do, do you get that? I don't know. I don't know. Is it hollow? Comtech? Yeah, it's hollow. It's hollow. It's, it's, it's hollow in the fact that in this section here, the walls are around about a centimetre thick. But you can hear it. It's hollow and it's light it's very light as well so i'm surprised no one said are you going to make it float <laughs> yeah because that's normally what i get with the uh with the bismarck there but uh i can get a dremel 90 degree adapter i have got a dremel uh rick gregory but the adapter needs to be small enough to be able to get into that one one and a half centimeter gap oh look phil's in here happy thanksgiving uh phil phil we've just been talking about the um the orca and how we're going to get to this other porthole here you did mention it when you were here the porthole just here with this wall in the way some people have suggested going through there chris the dentist has suggested one of the the the, the, the tooth drills which are at 90 degrees so that should be fun <laughs> but i said i'm nowhere near at that stage yet so we'll have to see uh how that goes um do you have the Picard make it snow Christmas jump? It'd be great for the Enterprise deal. Seize, I don't. But you know what? Me and Mrs. World Away were talking today. And I need to stock up on Christmas jumpers. Because at the moment, apart from hair on mine, um, I've got this one. I've got a Stranger Things one. You probably saw last year. But I've got a Gremlins one as well. I'll be wearing that. I'd like a couple more. I know I can only wear them at a certain time of year. But um, I don't know. They add a little bit of joy and a little bit of smiling to uh, everyone. As a matter of fact, look, I'm on the I'm on the Heineken tonight. Uh, Phil was on these last week, and uh, I haven't touched them, so I thought uh, they can't just sit in the fridge. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have one. <laughs> um. Oh no, the premise hole in the outside row. Just drill through it to drill the hole and fill in the hole you drill. Yeah, I think that's going to be the quick the best way, unless uh, Chris here. I was going to make a clock out of an old dead turbine hand pieces. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the idea use your old tools who was it i was watching the um there was a model builder on youtube that was saying that he goes to dentists and after a certain amount of time the uh some of the tools are just not sharp anymore and they're disposed of and he, he bought them at like a real discount rate i can't remember who that was hmm but uh you know I don't, if, if i went to my local dentist they think I, we can't even see our local dentist at the moment so you know you've got to be exclusive to see your local dentist it's crazy hello gaz how's it going in corby cold isn't it in corby at the moment gaz freezing actually the uh as you can see i've got my uh oh i haven't got my what, what's happened there then uh stand by why is my media source not playing uh if i loop it okay oh there we go i want i wanted this up and i didn't realize that that's uh there we go that was on the start of the stream i didn't realize it runs out i thought it's just there forever see i'm learning things as i go along 
Um, I am going to be changing the, uh, where I put the adverts to the other channels at the front, I'm going to change it slightly so they're all on that static card. So we'll see that. Dremel sell a, a, a flexible drill end that bends to 90 degrees. But how much, if that bends at 90 degrees, Phil, can I get it into that? Um, I haven't got a ruler here, but it, it looks like a two centimeter space. So I said the only thing that I've seen that small is a dentist drill, which is why um, Chris Hurst was, was just telling me about it. But uh, it's going to be a pain in the neck to get to. I mean, otherwise, the only other option I said is to paint it to look like the other two that we put in. Uh, but I don't know if you got my WhatsApp, Phil, but I've sent you some 112 scale playing cards as well. So they're going to be in the pack. So you can have them laid out like uh, Patience. Hooper could be playing Patience on it. Um, Stratus, you've got the Doc 2 Christmas top. I love a Christmas top. <laughs> um, can you file the detail down and then add the porthole detailing? Um, probably not, no. No, David. It's so hard to work work in that little small space. And and the portholes that I've got for the other ones are perfect. They're such a perfect fit. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Um, uh, Phil, I haven't even told you this as well. So the, um, the dials, I've ordered some decals for the dials. They're on the way. And the bezels for all the dials as well, they're on the way as well. So, um, yeah, I've been a bit bang on it. I've been one of those. Mrs. Welder Wayne's been buying stuff for dolls' houses. So I've just been buying stuff for model boats. So uh, that's that's what I've been doing. <laughs> um, where's my browser source? One second. Stand by. Uh, there we go. I need to move that up to there. That's better. And that way, when I highlight your comments, like Gaz saying very cold, it now goes over the top of that. Um, <laughs> well, anyway, you got no, it took me almost seven hours to get back from Devon. No car heater all the way. My, why have you got no car heater, Gary? Have you, is your heating switch got a problem in the uh, the water cycle? I've had that on a couple of my cars, you know, had to replace them. As a matter of fact, my pug had that problem, me Peugeot 205. It's an easy fix, but God, pain in the ass in the uh, in the winter, that's for sure. What's the weather like over in America at the moment? I've got I've got to ask. We're, we're expecting snow tomorrow, if anyone didn't know. So uh, they've, 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 we've got like a tropical storm on the way. And just like America, we we name our tropical storms. So our tropical storm, I think it's called Arwen, as in uh, from Lord of the Rings. So I think that's the next tropical storm name. You can't see comments with overlay on the screen. That's that's right now, isn't it? You can now. I've changed it. <laughs> Might seem to be. Yeah, I think I've moved it. That's right now, isn't it? So look, the comments go on top of that. Are, are we good? Yeah, that's better. You see, I'm a, I'm a work in action. I just uh, get through these things as we go along. You think the flu's blue? Oh my God. Gary, funny story about that. I had a fuse blow on the motorway once, which took out all my lights in the car, the brake lights and everything. So I pulled over and I didn't have another fuse. What I did have was some nail scissors. So I jammed them in the fuse box. And uh, I don't know if that was good. It sparked a bit, but it got me home. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a budget man when it comes to fixing things. That's for sure. It's only 20 degrees in Spain at the moment. Oh my God um it's going to be windy and wet i think it's going to be snowing but uh it's cold in in illinois as well now this this music that i've got here um this is from a uh it's on sound uh I've, let me just let me just change to the holding card right okay it's on it's on audio sprite and the guy's name it's on sorry i've got that completely wrong it's on soundcloud and the username is audio sprite 87 okay and uh, I'm going to give you an idea of some of the other music on there, okay? Let's see if you get this one. I'm sure you're all going to get this one straight away. You ready? <laughs> see, the funny thing is, you were all asking for that. At the start of the stream and i thought ah oh, perhaps i should have played airwolf because i've got airwolf on there uh you're good at this you're good at this okay right we're going to try another one then this is going to be a bit harder but if you know you know okay here we go Not chips, babe. 
Not Auto Man. Not MacGyver. No. Well done, Smudged81. That was Robocop. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Sorry, I'm going to keep it going. Right, okay, so this one's dead easy. You ready? The motorbike was Street Hawk, Scott Mitchell. You got it from the um yeah, all of these have just been reworked MIDI files into like an 80s MIDI sort of like album. They've been changed sufficiently enough to uh, to get there. Number five, I don't know. I'll be surprised if anyone gets it. I'll do number six. Tell me if you can get this one. And then, uh, well, you'll see. John, I haven't seen Ghostbusters Afterlife yet, no. Well done, that was an easy one, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm going to do number five. I wouldn't have got this, I have to say, but if you get this, then you're a better person than I am. You ready? Here we go. This is hard. <laughs> this is just a, a complete off-key Christmas quiz, David. We should do that at Christmas. We should have a... a, a, a we should definitely have a, a, a quiz. It's not Terminator, Gary. I'll be honest with you, I've only seen this film once. But it is an Asian movie. Wow, David Howe. Well done. Escape from New York. Wow, I'm impressed. I didn't think anyone would get that, I have to say. <laughs> that was brilliant, well done. Okay, this one's easy. You ready? <laughs> I'm enjoying this. This is like the Ghostbusters, uh, you know, telepathy. Well done, Miami Vice. Look, we got there. Patrick Doy, well done. There's not many more. If you're bored of this game, there's not many more, I promise. <laughs> um, you've already heard um, Street Hawk, so let's go with this one. This is one of my favourite tunes. Well done, GB's Model Zone. Jerry Goldsmith score, that is old Gremlins. You've got to love the Gremlins. I'll just mention that wearing my uh, my jumper. Okay, we'll keep going. Uh, okay, another hard one, unless you've watched the film and you're a big, big, big fan of the 80s. I've watched this about 100 million times, this film. You ready? Wow, I knew my brother would get that. God, I didn't even know you were watching. I didn't even know you were watching, Michael. That was Bill Conti, I believe, wasn't it? The uh, war theme. Got to love a bit of Bill Conti. He did the instrumental uh, work in uh, Karate Kid. So uh, I knew you would get that, Michael. My brother used to work out to Rocky Four. So, okay, next one. We've got three more, okay? Here we go. Well done, Spud. <laughs> Bill Conti did Dynasty, did he? I didn't know that uh, Danny Elfman did the Simpsons music. Things you learn. Uh, well done. <laughs> That's Terminator. Uh, we've got two more. Uh, Lou Dalmeso's not in here tonight. I'm sure he'll get this one. I 
can't believe. Wow. Well done. I wouldn't have got that. I said I'm not, not a big fan of the film. Okay, so the last one we've got, all of this come in the gear. Now, when, when you buy the license for this, all the proceeds are going to charity. Uh, they haven't asked me to advertise this. It's just uh, I, I heard some of this music and I thought this is great. Um, don't know how many people are going to get this one. But, uh, well, again, fan of the 80s, you should know it. Ready? You're not blocked, Anthony. I can see you. <laughs> I'm just picking who's who, who's going who's getting them first, uh, Anthony. You're still here. Look. Hello. Wow. Look, John Victor, Elm Street. Well done. That's the last one there. It's funny. Oops, I've got I highlighted the wrong comment. <laughs> it's John Victor who got that one. The um, it's funny. Just as that came up, Tina came in and said evening all and i do believe that's like uh robert england's first like i keep highlighting your comment now anthony i keep um <laughs> there we go tina i think that's robert england's first line in uh nightmare elm street so <laughs> it's all fun i want more of them he should make more of them but uh, i thought that was a little bit fun so anyway i'm going to be sharing them at the start of every stream i'll pick a random one but now you know what's coming so you don't have to guess the movie you'll still have to guess the countdown though but uh, I like them. I like them a lot. <laughs> um, next week's going to be a bit funky. There's going to be no video on the channel tomorrow, just so you know. Uh, I'm going to be building Bismarck Pack 9, and I don't think that's going to be finished until Monday. There's going to be no video on the channel Monday either. There might be in the evening, because I was meant to have a carpet laid on Thursday. That's now been put back to Monday. So the weekend, I'm ripping all the floor out. Monday the carpet's being laid so uh, as soon as that's done then I can jump on and get a video done what I <coughs> what I've got here <coughs> sorry what I've got here is um the next Peugeot pack so uh, someone said there was only 16 more to go including what I've just done so I think that means there's only eight more stages of the Peugeot to do um and I think I'm waiting for the fire truck uh I don't know if that's coming out um what else are we expecting um i'm just having a think having a think jaguar the jaguar must be out soon and fire truck jaguar there must be another one root master is that due because i haven't seen much from our agora models at the moment that's why i'm saying that and i have got three things on the way from fan home but i haven't got a clue what they are uh so we have to say you love a good pop quiz anthony you know what anthony i think i might do something like that for christmas what do you think about that having a Having sort of like a theme for Christmas stream. We'll have a two-hour stream Christmas week, what do you reckon? And we can have a, a big quiz. It'll be one of these honour system things where you're going to have to keep score yourself and, uh, you know, be honest. And then we can see who wins and perhaps we'll put a prize up for whoever can win. I think that's a good idea. I think we'll do that. It, it's probably going to be movie TV related. it probably have a, a model round in it as well, though, just to, uh, to challenge. I think that'd be a good idea. Can you have Phoebe tonight? Um, that's if she wants to come outside. At the moment, it's so cold, Kevin, that she, she doesn't want to come outside. We have to physically pick her up and chuck her out. <laughs> if you thought laying an egg was hard, try laying... Well, I'm not doing the carpet, Alex. Someone else is doing that. The problem I've got in my house... I, well, I moved into my house as a new build property. And downstairs, it's all concrete. So when I laid the uh, laminate floor in... I had to get some nice, really cushioned underlay and put the laminate floor in over there. I laid all of that. Now, it's lasted 11 years. So I've got to rip it all out and leave the concrete floor and then let the carpenter deal with it. Because uh, I, I don't know how they work. I haven't got a clue. But obviously those, I don't know the names of them. You know those wooden things with the nails in which they grip the carpet? Well, he's got to somehow secure that to the concrete. And I don't know if that's an easy job or a hard job. But... Uh, We'll have to say, yeah, Anthony, I'm definitely going to be on that then. You've gave me something to strive for. So uh, I will do uh, the Christmas, World Away in Christmas quiz. I think that's uh, going to be, I'll, I'll, I'll give you plenty of notice of when that's going to be. But uh, <laughs> isn't it amazing? These these ideas come up and the most uh, completely impromptu. I, I mean, I only downloaded those audio files about half an hour before stream. And now we've just set a whole idea for Christmas. I wanted to do something for Christmas. I really wanted a half an hour blooper reel. But since I lost everything, I've lost everything. 
all the all the cock ups I've made on their channel are lost, so I can't do that. So I think that's probably going to be the next best things. Um, you've not seen the fire truck parts in my work yet, no? I mean, I I don't do Agora models send um send you notifications that stuff's being sent, and if they do, has anyone had any notifications for any of that stuff? I think it's the uh fire truck Jaguar. Don't know if the zeros due. The Bismarck isn't. The Jaguar um, Route Master. Yeah, I don't know. Because I, I don't get emails. So I, I rely on you peeps. You just received a huge copy table book from Eagle Moss featuring the DB5. Oh, wow. Is that something that you get with a build? Or is that just something that's been ordered? The DB5 is going to be out on Monday. That's I knew something was going on on Monday. So Monday, as long as the carpet's finished, that will probably be out in the evening. Because I did promise you, 10 stages every week. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And he did a lot of quizzes during COVID with the family via messenger video. They are fun. My um, my nephew's been doing some as well on Facebook. Uh, when I used to go to an event called Cult TV, they had a theme round where the visuals and sound were from different shows. That was a great quiz. God, that would drive me crazy, Gary. The problem is when you when you hear a theme of something and you just can't place it, and it's annoying. And the good thing about doing audio rounds, it's not really something you can cheat in or, or look up on Google. And picture rounds as well. I think there'll be a lot of audio and picture rounds. I'll have to check the fair use policy because uh, I, don't, I don't want to get copyright strikes. <laughs> Wayne, have you noticed the Insight, uh, Star Wars Encyclopedia doesn't come in number order? Yes, David, I've noticed that. I've got the next four. Um, and I wanted to get a video out this week, but everything got pushed back with Jack being in the hospital. So, um, uh, yeah, I think that's the way they work it so that you get the complete set. Um, if you only got like one to ten and you do it in a number order, would you be inclined to continue it and just think, no, I've got the first ten, that'll be fine. But if they do random orders and you're creating a picture on the spines, I think that's the incentive for you to buy. The thing is, you don't know what you're getting from, from one month to the next, but I do love them. I, I, I've i got the next four here, actually, but I haven't opened them yet, so um, I will do. Uh, Railway Music Lover, the next part of Spitfire is out, though, as we send them out to retailers. Uh, Railway Music Lover, I've got um, the next three, I believe, here. I'm going to pick some up from the news agents because my brother, who's in chat at the moment, I used your ones to do the motors and stuff on there, so I need to replace them. I did tell you about that, actually. So I will get them sent out to Canada, but not to the new year now. Because with the Christmas rush, I'm surprised our deliveries aren't going to be affected by that. Because, uh, you know, everyone's sending Christmas cards and gifts all over the all over the world. But uh, gripper rods are nailed to concrete. God, that must be some nails driving into concrete. That concrete is rock hard, literally. <laughs> um. How easy it's to catch up the Dodge? Uh, Andrew, it's quite an easy build, the Dodge. As a matter of fact, out of all the builds we're doing, it's probably the easiest one I've got. So you're not going to have a problem with that at all. I think they call it a wooden thing with nails in. <laughs> a gripper rod. Spen Spenny's told us what it's called. <laughs> Glue the gripper strip down. Uh, I, I, Chris, I'm letting them do that. I'm going to be sitting in my warm workshop, drinking a beer, and uh, perhaps doing a couple of the Bismarck easy bits. So, did everyone see that I managed to get the propellers working? I did put that on the YouTube channel. I'm so happy with that. That means every bit of electric is working in that. The only thing I've got to worry about now is the rigging. And unfortunately, if you've been watching the Space Shuttle build, that's on hold now because uh, the Orca's going to take up all my time. The amount of things that I'm planning for the Orca, as you saw today, and I'm sure uh, Spruverse, Phil's got the same thing, he's going to sleep at night thinking about how... He's going to tackle things. If you've um, followed Spruverse on Instagram, he's actually started to remould the ladder. And he's put a picture of, uh, you've used brass rod, I think, for the ladder and some uh, steel, uh, what's it called? Weld glue, uh, metal weld glue to actually put the ropes in. And then once it's dry, sand it. It's going to look good. It's going to look brilliant. So uh, I like the idea for that. Uh, take care, Bill. Happy Thanksgiving. I keep forgetting the time difference out there. It must be the big lunch at dinner now. So, oh, bless. <laughs> they hammered those into the floor tiles when we first moved in. Took the tiles up when we removed them. Oh, my God. Well, I'm letting him do that. <laughs> um, Roadrunner, Jason, They, I tried. I phoned them up. I emailed. I did the online chat. They just couldn't recover anything. 
at all anything and i lost some really important stuff as well and i mean if you are watching on the off chance that you created my animated l cars panel for the enterprise videos please get in touch with me because i've lost it and i can't use it and i'm gutted that that's missing i loved how it just popped up in the screen but i no, you know it's not there anymore i've managed to get rid of most of my lost assets by downloading the videos and then ripping the stuff a lot of stuff i've had to create from scratch again but uh there you go uh wacky tech a as soon as i get the next fire truck built uh pack i will build it so uh probably next week if it's due out i think someone said it was due out today uh some people have been getting packs one and two today i believe but i don't know if if they have oh you do get notifications oh that's excellent then uh three degrees in spalding ed we're in spalding on um i haven't got my phone i think hang on stand by i'm in spalding look i have to check my calendar on the either the third or fourth i'm guessing the fourth saturday the fourth of december i'm in spalding i'm going to be in baytree that day so if you're over that way then uh, come by and say hi uh, hello robert's video madness how's it going <laughs> andrew water are you still are you still uh guessing the music <laughs> It's not playing any music, is it? Oh my god. <laughs> Shazam, you see that's that's the cheating way of doing it. But will it pick up MIDI files? Because they are MIDI files. But doesn't Shazam use that thing that you could hum a tune and it will guess it? I, I think it does, doesn't it? Um Oh, so you can get the DB5 uh, book from the Eagle Moss site. That would be good. I was hoping to see some of the DB5 stuff at the London Transport Museum. And then I found out that it's actually stopped like last year. And now it's some sort of Harry Potter photo exhibition. So uh, it's a shame. Uh, just say for education purposes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll just try that. Um, oh, look, there we go. Mrs. World of Wayne's just answered my question. December 4th, about 10.30, if anyone's up to saying hi. Yep, we will be at Baytree. We love it there. We're not seeing Santa because we can't get tickets to see Santa. Not that I want to see Santa yet, or Mrs. World of Wayne. We've, uh, we've got our, our little great niece, is it, uh, with us. So it's come to that age now where we need to find a child if we want to see Santa. <laughs> so we uh, randomly go around the family trying to find nephews and nieces. Uh, but there you go. <laughs> Yeah, Christmas is a, is a month today. Can you believe that? One month today is Christmas Day. And listen, I, I have spoke to people on the channel as well. I know Christmas is a hard time for a lot of you on the channel. So I am aiming to do live streams that whole Christmas week to try and do my best to just lift us up and just to show you that we are a community here. I may be building these models and putting videos out, but this is why we do the Thursday night stream so we can interact and uh, have some fun. So uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. What day does Christmas fall on this year? Uh, let's bring up my calendar. Hang on. Stand by. I mean, Christmas Day falls on a Saturday, so there's no reason we can't stream most of the week. So uh, I'll look into that. I'll look into that, definitely. Is Jack better? He's came out of hospital about an hour and a half ago, Dave, which is good. He had his drain removed. They did an x-ray on his lung. He's still having a little problem breathing, but because of the swelling, that's causing the breathing. But the good news is, because he's now had both lungs collapse, it means it won't happen again because they've been sort of stuck to uh, the inside of him now. But um, again, there's no reason for it. It just can affect people that are tall and thin. Who knows? Uh, oh, excellent, David. Thank you for that. Um, I got one today to do, actually. Because remember, on, my, uh, on the Partwork Upgrade site, if you want to get your name up on the workshop for the plaque, um you can actually get one from there and all the money for that is going to the uk parkinson's charity uh and i think i'm up to date. i've got one more to do which might be yours david and that's it i'm up to date with them for the parkinson uk uh for the ones on this side i'm still doing free a day um i've had to put it on hold for a second because i'm aiming to try i don't know if you've seen here look next to that that blue thing there is a laser and i'm aiming to have a go at putting the laser in there and doing a little bit of laser cutting because i want to cut the seats for the orca and see uh at the same material that i'm using for the plaque uh, the other thing is uh roadrunner was asking about my paint booth it still hasn't turned up it should be here about december 12th now so i'm using a cardboard box that's how technical we are in the world of wayne studio we're using a cardboard box to do painting <laughs> where are we 
Uh, where should I look for a new Subaru body? A Subaru body? I'm confused, uh, Andrew. I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, what is the name of the Hammer of Tours? Again, I don't, I don't know what you mean, Magna. Sorry. But you mean Thor's Hammer? Molnir? Is that what you mean? Thor's Hammer? Molnir? But it's spelled like M O J. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, Lauren. How many Americans have we got watching at the moment? Have we got? Have we got a few? I'm so glad that we're doing a Thanksgiving a, a, a stream. I, I can't guarantee we're going to do a Christmas Day stream. I've got the kids here for Christmas, and uh, if they get their Christmas present, I think I'm going to be pretty busy. <laughs> Please mention that link, Wayne. I know it's not your thing. Um, Roadrunner is just saying that. I, I, have you heard? I think it's disgusting how Paramount pulled Star Trek Discovery before it was going to go on Netflix. Now, I'm guessing this must have been something that they did instantly because even Netflix wasn't prepared for it. And it was taken off into the case that it's we'll get it when the Paramount streaming service comes to the UK. I know the Paramount streaming service is in other countries at the moment, so you can watch it. We don't have that option in the UK, but now it's been picked up by Pluto TV. So I don't know what that's all about. I haven't got a clue um, if they've made the deal or Paramount have realised that... Uh, um you know it, it was a bad decision but uh if you are a fan of that show then by all means uh check out pluto tv the thing is as i said to roadrunner i hate the show so i'm not really bothered but i am surprised that they didn't pull everything off of netflix that i mean next generation is still on there I'm surprised they didn't pull that as well uh, if it comes you will build it isn't that the wrong way around yeah no definitely <laughs> Um, I, I I don't know what 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 that's all about, Railway. I know you're having a conversation with Craig Jackson. I think if I can help with anything, let me know. I don't know. Have you got your two shuttlecraft yet? You know what, Scott? I haven't. Uh, it got charged. Uh, I got charged on I think November fifth, but nothing's turned up. I've got my next Enterprise. That won't be out till Wednesday because I'm going to try and fix the light bleed in the saucer section. No, I haven't received the. Uh, haven't received that at all. The uh, Ecto One's looking good though, isn't it? Look, <laughs> blimmin' heavy. I think either I need to work out, or that vehicle's really heavy. Uh, hi, Wayne. You're building the wooden Bismarck from Hashet, as well as the metal one. The detail on the wooden version is much ma uh, more made of brass. You know what, DRN? I've heard that we're going to see something similar with the Eagle Moss Titanic. I think there's going to be more detail in the Eagle Moss version than the Hashet version. I don't know because I'm doing the Eagle Moss version on the channel. So we'll see. God, someone's having a party out there. <laughs> I can hear lots of music. Uh, hello, Kozart. With my first two issues of kit, thought the paint on the hood was bad and close up, a water drop and some rough looking areas. Looks okay from three foot, so not worrying about it. Gary, I'm telling you, turtle wax, black turtle wax will make that come out perfectly. It's just like having smears on you. I think it's got a slight tea cut in it. I don't know. But it does. I use that on the Night Rider and I've used it on a red one because you get different colour codes on the Peugeot and they've come up beautifully. So if anyone's got those smears, trust me, black turtle wax. They come in all different, uh, these waxes come in different colours, different brands as well. But any of those, it will be brilliant for it. Uh, you bought the Haynes manual for the Routemaster bus. Raymond, I always see that on sale in the works. Um, I don't know if it's the same this year. Normally after Christmas, they do two of those um, Haynes manuals for the same price, twelve fifty. So I might hold on to Boxing Day. I know I'm a I'm a, I'm a sale hunter. You know I'm going to be looking at the Black Friday deals tomorrow. <laughs> so as a matter of fact, I've got one of these scroll saws coming, so I can use cups for that. That was I think one hundred and seventy nine pound reduced to seventy nine pound in the Black Friday sales on Amazon. So uh, I was like, yep. Gonna have that, and this webcam that I'm on at the moment. Just so you know, this webcam is normally two hundred and nineteen pound. I bought this one for one hundred and fifty pound, and on Amazon at the moment, it's one hundred and eleven pound. So uh, going down, going down in price. Uh, Glenn, I don't at the moment. As soon as I know, I'll, I'll, I'll let everyone else know. But yeah, I haven't got a clue. Uh, uh, 
it's it's a tough time for everyone this time of year well i say everyone it's it's a tough time for people because obviously there's memories associated with christmas. I, I don't want to bring the mood down but um look at the positives we're gonna have a good christmas trust me uh you just subscribe to night rider it's a brilliant build i love it uh baytree is although last year and they didn't have the the christmas wonderland because of um covid but this year they have but it's uh you have to book entry for it um i'll be honest with you the displays i think in the last few years haven't been as good as gates garden center in oak oak um is it oakham yeah on the less border uh but i'll see for myself on the fourth because i haven't been there for about four years now so there you go your lung collapsed from a kick from a horse it's not not good jennifer you know what jennifer my son decided to play football with a collapsed lung <laughs> go figure <laughs> Uh, Julie, I'm probably not because I'm running out of room, but what I tend to do at Christmas is I have an overlay like you see with that Happy Thanksgiving with lots of Christmas stuff going on. So we'll look Christmas in here. And no doubt I'll have another Christmas jumper to wear. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> did you do my plaque? Yes, Alex. It's up, it's up on the on the wall. Haven't you seen it? The um, I have I have done it, haven't I? I'm thinking. I don't know. I need to check. I can tell you actually, hang on a second. Stand by. I can tell you because I've got a list and then basically I just delete off the list the ones that I've done. Uh, the next ones I'm doing, just so you know, are Phil Beresford, Les Patrick, Chris Hurst, you're coming up, Craig Simfloor, uh, Dave Wilson, Keith Teasdale, Anthony Oates, Jimmy Jones, Craig Jackson. I'm just scrolling up, Alex. I think I've done yours. <laughs> I'm sure I have. You need to look at my social media because I would have posted it up there, but I'll send I'll send you one, Alex. I'll send you the picture of it up on the wall. It's already out there. So <laughs> um, I've just done that, uh, Rogue Runner. Uh, that pub miniature Lee Max you bought as by myself and White. We now have a few pieces. We'll post a pic on your Facebook group, Anthony. You know what? I, I'm, um, hopefully, Mrs. World. She knows anyway. I'm buying a Christmas tree in the next few days. Uh, from uh, I think from Gates is, is from Gates so I'm going to buy another one or two <laughs> I'm hooked on them and I know you can only put them up a certain time of year but uh, wow the detail on them I just love I, I it's one of these it's like the Bismarck the Bismarck is my point of call now for everything because a model that you could just stare at for ages it's crazy you know what I, I, I blame when I was a kid now I don't know the person's name but there was someone in Stowmarket. Now, I've got some relatives over in Earl Stonham in Suffolk. And there was an old guy that I met in Stowmarket when I was a kid. My parents took me to see him. And he was, I mean, he's long gone now. He was about 90 when I saw him. He had created a ginormous, and I'm talking, wow, it must be about half the size of this workshop, scale model of Ely Cathedral made out of matchsticks. Now, I don't know whatever happened to that model because I'm sure no one would have destroyed it. But that was the most amazing thing I had ever seen someone have built. And God knows how long it took him. But uh, it was it was amazing. And that was in his house. So God knows where it is now. I'll be surprised if it's in Ely Cathedral, actually. <laughs> um, Just had my birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday from Sunday, Jennifer. The uh, what does that make you? Is that uh, Scorpio? no it's the next one on from scorpio i don't know what that is i'm not good i'm not good with my star signs <laughs> um amazing how i'm from aussie and the sound essex we know mark knight i came over from australia in 1978 and i lived in essex for like 30 years and then moved up to corby so yeah my accent's completely screwed but you'll hear me say camera camera's got that am it's got the australian am water australia <laughs> don't come the raw prawns with me you know <laughs> it doesn't take me long to be if i'm around any australian to actually start getting the australian vibe back as a matter of fact we noticed it with phil because phil's a south end boy phil's an essex boy so uh when he uh when he came here you can hear sometimes his american accent does change to the english accent it's quite it's quite interesting um so dress up as santa um adrian i haven't got a santa suit i i used to have but uh, <laughs> that, that might be a little bit kinky, you know, I, I don't know. Um, 
Oh, you're from Illinois, near Chicago. Very cold here. Well, Mrs. World of Wayne's going to Illinois in uh, June next year, the beginning of June. Because uh, she's flying back from uh, Louisville, from Wonderfest. So, uh, there you go. Um, Roadrunner, on this, I can't see links because I think it automatically takes them out. So, there's no way to display links on the chat, unfortunately. Uh, that's not my doing. It's just the protections that are in place. So, um... But just do a search, it says, for Pluto TV on Google. That will take you there. Um, you've been on my subscription site and have it just been scrolling backwards and I've got your, your builds and live streams going back a year or more. Edward, I normally put things in playlists. So all the live streams should be in the live stream playlist. There's a, there is a playlist for everything on the channel. Uh, but there you go. Oh, you got an Eagle Moss DPD notification today. What was that for? Is that for the shuttles, Craig? Because I said I haven't, I haven't received them. You got your shuttles five days ago. Well, Chris, I'm hoping mine are on the way then. But they did they did offer them in stages to people. So, I don't know. Hopefully, they'll be coming. What's happening with Kit? Well, Mark, I was two stages ahead of everyone. And theoretically, I'm two stages behind everyone now because I'm up to stage four. So I'm wondering if they're holding off to make sure that, because otherwise we're just going to keep kangarooing over each other. Look at that, kangaroo. I'm using Australian terms. Um, because theoretically, I'm going to be due up to issue eight when my next delivery comes, which will put me to a head. But uh, I will have to see. Uh, you've not had the cup yet? No. Don't know. Um, they did pull all of track off Netflix in October. I had to read the contract was up and they were going to have them on Paramount Plus, but now Next Generation do they're still on there, John, because I've been watching I've been having a rewatch of Deep Space Nine and I've, uh, there's been no break from my viewing on Netflix. Matter of fact, I watched the first episode of Hawkeye today it, it, it's good, but it seems to be too much for focusing on a new character. If that's the case, why, why are you calling the show Hawkeye? <laughs> I've got to I've got to watch the second episode but we'll see uh, Graham, I'm not I'm not going to be doing that on the channel so um there'll be loads of builders doing it though graham i'm doing i'm doing the eagle moss i want to do a wooden ship model i keep saying that i really want to do one uh we'll have to see um oh michael coifman welcome to the channel we're up to like fifty thousand three hundred odd now subscribers that's just crazy hi jacob has it over in the uh, czech republic from where is enterprise d shipped well mine are coming from germany at the moment but they come from a different place every time. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. I had a delivery today from a Devon, fulfill, for, 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 a Devon Fulfillment Centre. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Am I that behind on chat? I think I'm doing good tonight. I'm keeping up tonight. With 247 people in here at the moment. Think you need an underground bunker? Yeah, I think I do. That's the only way I'm going to get more room. Oh, hello, Howard. How's it going? How far are you down the list, Scott? Let's have a look. Uh, it's in the order that, that, that they the comments were on the screen, you see? So stand by. Uh, mules, uh, bah, 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 bah. There we go. Um, you are. Um, Robert Fall, Marvel, Chris Jave, Scotsman, Jay's Channel, Craig Rice, David Phillips, Ian Knights, Phil Trop, Lucas, Johnny Fairweather, Kevin Stevenson, Richard Herfley, Corey Mitchell, Andy Cochran, Wayne Brickles, Patrick Doyle, Stuart Downing, Patrick Broder, Darren Anderson, Keith Bloxham, Jim Strover, Terry Martin, Tony Abraham, Dallas Hay, Anonymous, Brian McDonald, Keith Sinclair, Christian Jane. I've done Christian. Why is that there again? That's interesting. Paul Jordan, Dylan Kilgore, Pete Cummins, Alex McDonald, you are on here, so I'd still need to do yours. Uh, James and Ian, Christopher Colson, uh, Jack Dash Riptide. You're after Dash Riptide. And then uh, it's you, Scott. So we are getting there. There's a lot to do. There's about 130 plaques to make, there was. So, uh, uh, no, it won't take that long. If you're talking about the plaques, Roadrunner, I reckon I'll have them done by the end of January. Definitely. If I do four a day, sometimes I can't do it because that machine is so loud. I have to wear the ear defenders that you can see over there when I'm in here. And sometimes it just gives me a headache. So I have to do it when I'm not in here. And they take about six or seven minutes to do each plaque unless there's a logo on it. And I just did... Um, uh mr fusion designs one and uh that just took forever because <laughs> of the design yeah gates was brilliant this year I've, I've got a video on the channel gaz for when i um visited gates 
No, I have done your, yeah, I've done your uh, plaque, Alex. I think that might be an old list I was looking at there because I've done Christian as well. So uh, I won't, don't worry. <laughs> You'll have two up there. John, are you telling me you didn't put your tree down? Your missus said that she was going to take it down when the pandemic finished or when everything unlocked. So I naturally assumed it might have been taken down. <laughs> no, 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 Alex, you're right. I, I still need to do it. It's my mistake. I can, Alex. You send me what you want on it. And if you've got a, um, a PDF, like a, a PNG file or something of your logo, send that and email me because I can I can actually make the 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 crafter the 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 engraver there print that or try to we'll have to see how that goes um is she gonna be close by I'd like to meet her she's a great lady is that mrs welder wayne she's uh well she's gonna be at the airport jennifer <laughs> so uh she's passing through on the way back to london because uh she, she's going back to london i'm flying off to la <laughs> So I guess you've got the good end. Guess guess you've got the raw end of the stick on that one. She has to go back to work, you see. So I don't. So I will be streaming from America, which is uh, is going to be good. Oh, is it the Agora Distribution Center? Oh, right, okay. Because I don't know what's on the way. I just get notified of it. So so that that makes sense to me then. So I've got a parcel coming. I don't know what's in it. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, David, you know what? I used to have my tree up around about the week before Halloween during the kids' half term in the UK. And I used to decorate it with Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. So basically, it was a Halloween tree and a Christmas tree. And then when Halloween stopped, that would get moved around and then I'd just put it up as a Christmas tree. So pretty much it would have been up from the end of October. But the thing is, I very rarely keep the tree up past Boxing Day. Normally around about the 27th or 28th, I take the tree down. I'm not one of these people that wait to the 5th of January or the 12th night to take it down. I normally just take it down. The wooden chips are very time consuming. Tell me about it. I've still got the victory down there, DRN. Consuming mainly the whole planks, like the Battleship Bismarck. There's two layers of planks, both need rubbing down. I don't think there's that much work to do on the Eagle Moss one. Um, but we'll see. Um, don't know you received your james bond gold cast die cast model dinky toy size very poor quality compared to the one my dad bought um i think i've got one of them chris someone sent me one but i haven't opened it so she didn't take it down now and just put the fairy back on <laughs> that's crazy didn't you have valentine's cards up as well when i went there john i can't remember i can't remember that was this year though, wasn't it? Can you believe that? That's gone, that time's just like flown by. That's crazy. That was like, that must have been May, April, May time. I can't remember. <laughs> O'Hara, that's it. Yep, that's where she's going into. Funny enough, you mentioned O'Hara Airport because that's where uh, Steve Martin's character was trying to get to uh, in Planes, Trains and Automobiles, wasn't it? <laughs> Del Griffiths and... Uh, I can't remember his name in it. Del Griffiths was John Candy's character. I need to give that film a rewatch for, for, for Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> You're buying a CNC. Uh, yeah, this one comes with the laser engraver. I haven't plugged it in yet. I'm a bit terrified. I've just got, I don't know if you can see next to that laser, laser engraver, just there. I've just bought some protection for my eyes because I didn't want to muck around with it without having some sort of protection on. I don't want to zap my eyes out, but uh, we'll have to see. But there you go. So we've come to the end of the stream. So please, please remember, there's going to be no video on the channel tomorrow. As a matter of fact, the next video on the channel is hopefully going to be Monday evening. Um, and that will hopefully be the DB5 as long as everything works out. The carpet's laid. I have got my kiddies here this weekend, but I've got to leave early on Sunday because uh, my, my middle son, the uh, Riley, is off to the Lake District, spending a week in the Lake District in this weather braver man than me but there you go so listen thank you for joining me tonight um you have got the old content on the channel anyways you can look back on that anyway and uh, once again there's going to be no live stream on tuesday because we alternate it there will be a patreon stream on wednesday and then we've got our usual live stream on thursday so uh ta everyone take care